Oh, bloody hell. I need a cup of tea. Hi, I'm Oz Gilstrom and welcome to The Sci-Fi Show. What's Amanda tapping up to now? How's her charities coming along? And what's going to happen at the end of Sanctuary Season 4? Well, find out. Hello, I'm Amanda Tapping, Queen No, of... you're not. I am. Hi. 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 Season 4 of Sanctuary, yes. I've done the math, I think... Um, Dr. Helen Maggs is now 272 years old? Yes, 273. 273, I knew it was near there. Yeah. Um, what do you do for 113 years to kill time? I can't tell you because... Oh my god, she was doing awesome stuff? Yeah, oh. it's all going to be revealed in the final scene of the final episode of season four. Okay. You'll get why she's been the way she's been for the whole season and then all the, when all the pieces come together. And can I just say that Australia does play a part of it. Nice. All right. Enough said. Don't want to give too much away. Now, the recent news. Let's we get all newsy. Damien Kindler. I think you've heard of him. I um, do know who he is. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. Um, what's this deal with Universal Soldier? Um, people are scared shitless that he's not going to come back. No, 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 no. Either. No, he's been asked to write the uh, the pilot and the Bible. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. In the event, I think that something happens with it, uh, but it, it will be farther down the road. Good night, that's all. All right. And cool. Sanctuary will still, yeah, panic not. Yeah, because when he told me about it, I was like, I sat down and I was like, dude, what, what? <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. It's going to be right. fine. Cool, cool. It's all good. You're discharged, Sarge. <laughs> yes. Sanctuary for kids. What's happening? What's new? Uh, we've just taken on two new groups, or three groups really, in Haiti that we're working with, uh, that we're super proud of. Um, Phoenix Vision Society does trauma counseling, and they're also helping to build adobe houses. None of the, the 5% of the rubble in Haiti has been cleared. Very little of the money that was promised to Haiti has gotten into the hands of the people. A lot of it is sitting in accounts waiting, but there's been so many NGOs that have gone through and closed down. and. So the people of Haiti are really disenfranchised and very disheartened by the fact that it's been this long since this happened and they're still suffering. They're living in completely unsafe conditions. So we're working with a couple of really important groups, Phoenix Vision being one, uh, Sodudep uh, is uh, uh, dealing with a small school and helping feed the local people and teacher training, the Miriam Foundation which deals with uh, children with special needs in Haiti who are all but abandoned. So we're dealing with a lot of good work being done in Haiti. Our Nepal Orphans Home, our beautiful orphanage is ours, I say. It's, yeah, yeah. It was around long before we showed up. But uh, they're doing great. They've expanded to 150 kids now, and they're just they're doing wonderfully well. So we're, I mean, a lot of good, all the stuff that we sort of set out to do, the relationships are building. Uh, the Watari program in Vancouver is working with homeless teens and transitioning them into housing, teens with children getting them into housing and work and education. Wow, and, it's yeah. an empire. It's been great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you. It's always good to see you. Hi, I'm Amanda Tapping, and this is The Sci-Fi Show.